What is this? Snow days. Set of 12 pan painted all purpose goblets. Those are really cute. Really cute. And it's definitely time to start thinking about Christmas. That came from Ross. See, vintage inspired. It's not vintage, but it's vintage inspired, I'm telling you. What are you? Little, little ceramic starfish. like forever since I've been at Goodwill. Oh my gosh. I just was sitting there tonight going like, I just, I just, I just got the itch. I just got the itch to go to Goodwill. So here I am. And it happens to be Senior Wednesday. So I will get a 40% discount on any of the goodies I find. Oh man, there's just been so much crazy stuff happening. Um, most of you know I was sick for a time, not able to get out into the thrift store, so I've been doing some other interesting stuff in my videos, hopefully interesting stuff. I would love to know in the comments if you've been enjoying some of the different content, things you'd like to see more of, maybe things you like, yeah, not so much of that. But uh, the store is coming along, I'll be giving an update on that soon, but in the meantime, let's get into Goodwill and see what we can find to resell. And uh, I'm alone. I'm alone tonight, but that's okay. We'll make the best of it, right? Right? All right. Let's get shop done. All right. In we go. In we go. First things first, though. Let's go find our lucky cart. I think it's this one. And we're purple. All right. I am perusing through... The furniture items, very quickly. Oh, item is sold. That's really cute. Cubbies. It's not a bad one, although we're buying a bunch of those new. I think if we buy them new, then you just know they're solid, put together right. They're not horribly expensive. I do like that lamp a whole, whole lot. I do like those bar stools too, but again, those are already spoken for. Yeah, people, people grab up the good stuff really quick. Somebody has grabbed up some pretty good pieces of furniture in here. Congratulations to them. All right. Oh, nice big tall bookcase. Ooh, for 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Ugh, it's kind of wobbly though. We don't need wobbly. All right, never mind. Got some new carts just came out. What does that say? Ona? Got a Fostoria uh, American, I believe that is. Punch bowl set. All priced individually, 99 cents on the cups and 9.99. That's probably not a bad price, but it was a difficult thing to sell. Peace, love, coffee. What are these little weather vanes. Let's see if there's anything down below here. Got some toy items. Oh my. Oh. Oh my. Okay. We don't need those. Don't need a helmet. Although that's brand spanking new. PJ Masks multi-sport helmet. It's kind of cute. And nope. I don't see anything we can't live without in there. All right, we're going to start over here in the clear vases because you just never know, never know what they are going to stick in with the clear vases. So always got to take a good look. We are here later in the day, so could be a little picked over, but then they're putting stuff out all day long too. So you yeah, never know. Like, this is really pretty. This isn't old or anything, but it's really pretty. And if that was not all broken, I probably would have picked that up just because it's a really nice piece. It isn't all about vintage for me. 
it is about what is resellable in the decorating world today. I mean, a lot of it is the vintage coolness, but vintage inspired also does really well too. So I don't count it out just because it's not actually vintage. That's interesting. It's kind of, again, that like, almost like it's dipped. Hmm. Got a little lacquer box here. I like the ones that have fish on them. I'm not as much of a fan of just like the florals. And this one, there's a lot of tape to take off of there too. A little workload involved in that. What is this? Snow days. Set of 12 hand-painted all-purpose goblets. Those are really cute. Really cute, actually. Can't tell who makes them though. There's three of each design, it says. I'm looking for a price. Ugh, it's not on the top. Is it on the bottom? Uh, I don't see a price anywhere. All right, let me inspect further. So I found the price. It is $12.99. Now, mind you, I get 40% off of that. Uh, so I'm going to pick those up because even if I sold them individually for like $3 a piece, I'm going to make some pretty good money on those. And it's definitely time to start thinking about Christmas. That came from Ross. See, vintage inspired. It's not vintage, but it's vintage inspired. I'm telling you, it's crazy how much stuff is out there that is selling just because it has the look. Has the look. That's a kind of a cut to clear. It's chipped not a very high quality oh you can see it's a stained glass it's not the actual color of the glass Ooh, little black apple back here came from home goods lots of home goods stuff showing up in the thrift stores because it's such a popular place for people to shop oh look here's one that's red tagged for $5.99 that goes with that apple, but we are gonna leave them both. This looks like it might be an interesting piece. I like that swirl. This looks like a hobby piece, like somebody made this, kind of like a student piece. It's actually nicely done. It's very interesting. For $3.99 minus 40%, ah, I think I'll give that one a whirl. All right, now we're on the other side of the clear vases. Let's see if we see anything. But nope, nothing, nothing's calling to me. Ooh, acrylic paint. Nope, not full. Not even close to full. Got a little made in china angel little dishes what are you looks like a little dancing butterfly kind of thing but it's all loose in there so i don't know what's going on with that you see this little trinket box down here for 99 cents uh, which means it's actually only 60 cents for me and it's quite nice you know I like the blue color so I will pick that up it's the perfect thing to sell in like a whatnot sale for me or one of my live sales so that's coming with me nice little bucket let's see what that is oh it's uh melamine All right. Oh, that's been here a really long time. Oh, that's kind of a cool piece. Again, it's probably from one of the like Ross or Home Goods. It's nice, but it's super heavy too. And I have some very similar that I haven't sold from before, so I'm gonna leave that one. Self 
watering pot. Hmm. Plant growing kit. That's interesting. I don't really need that though. And it's not really the kind of thing that I resell, so. Let's see. Strawberry. She's still here. Oh, that's kind of a nice stein with the eagle on it. I've never done really well with, with steins though. And it is, let's say Avon. No, it's not Avon. D-O-M something. That says black coconut and amber patty wax candle. I just like the bowl it's in. Or I guess it's not a bowl. I guess it's a candle holder. 50 things to do when you turn 50. Open a thrift store. Oh, I bet that's not in there. I bet I'm, I'm the only crazy one doing such things. <laughs> That's okay. I don't mind. Candles, candles. Did you like the color of that one? Candle air tin. This. In all the world, there's no better friend than you. That's really sweet. a tile. That's what I thought. Oh, it's Department 56. It's a Department 56 tile. Is it supposed to be a standalone or did it have friends? Something tells me maybe it, maybe it had friends, but it was $35 originally and now it's $5.99 minus 40%. So I think I'll put that in the cart. Poke around. See if it's got any friends down here. She's really cute. Sky lanterns. I'm not a fan. I am not a fan of those. I've seen too many animals uh, have to have some surgically removed. I've seen them kill animals. People don't think about that, you know. After those festivals, all that has to come down somewhere. That's an interesting little stocking holder. I like it. Oh, this is a Hawaiian Melikalikimaka made in, made in China. I mean, it's just kind of cute, but not anything I need to pick up. Some little Santa candles. Oh, you look very blue sky-ish. But you're not, but you're nicely done. I know Halloween is almost over though, so I will leave you. You're not you're not special enough to hold on to till next year. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It takes something very special to put away for a whole year. I know, I know. Halloween will sell all year long. Um, but not as well. Not as well. Look at these little guys up here. <laughs> Santa, you're a little on the heavy side. Never mind. Yeah, you guys are not as vintage as I thought. Do I see a topiary deer? What is going what is going on with these antlers up here? What is what is this all twisted about? Oh, there's something very strange happening here. Maybe they're supposed to go like that. I don't know. I think he's a little, he's a little broken. So we will leave him. Figure out what this, what is this? It's like a, oh, oh, it's a scroll with Asian art on it. That's, Kind of lovely. 
$12.99, but it is minus 40%. So you know what? I think we're going to grab that. I'll open it up when we get home. It's kind of a nice little vintage plaque with the Rock of Ages hymn on it. It's actually really, really sweet. Hmm. Looks homemade. It would only be like a dollar. I think I will grab that. Kale, rejuvenating and brightening. No, no, no kale. Just say no to kale. Oh, here's some more. <laughs> here's some more cute little decoupage pieces with the apples and the baskets. You know what? Those are those are really sweet. I'm gonna grab those. Sandy toes and salty kisses. Mm, look at the seahorse. I don't like this though. I don't I don't really like the way that looks. I don't know if there was more shells on there. My beach and designs. <laughs> ah. I mean it's it's, it's nice, it's nice, but no, I'm gonna leave that one for someone else. There's something about it like just making me go, yeah. Looks like some of these things came out of like someone's like store stock. Cause there's a bunch of different ones here. This one just says beach, yeah. We'll leave those. And look at this. This is wood. Trying to figure out what it says though. What does that say? Let's bring you up here. It's not in English. So I am not sure what that says. It's pretty. But uh, we're going to leave it. Because I just don't know. Beware. <laughs> Beware of the. <laughs> That's, that's really funny. We've got a whole bunch of Thomas the Train tracks. Is it just tracks? It looks like it's just tracks. There was a time when Noah was so into that. He was, shall I say, obsessed. Oh, this little box is still here, and this is what happens. Like, the people have just destroyed it now because this was not like this when I first saw it. I've got a little modern looking bird. He is $3 minus 40%. Do I need him? I mean, I don't think he's old or anything. Uh, why is he tugging at me? He's tugging at me. Okay, I'm going to put him in the cart. Sometimes stuff just calls to me and I can't leave it. Okay, I'm, I can leave those. I can leave those. It's a nice wood tray. Something Charles, handcrafted in the Philippines. Um, if that name is not worth reselling, then I can put some of my little crystals and sphere specimens in this on my shelf. So I'm gonna grab that. Mm. I kinda like that. Bless this mess. <laughs> Eek! <laughs> I like the little. I like. Okay, this is funny. It's got a brain in it. Somebody put a brain inside the fence here. We don't need. We don't need the brain. I just wanted to look at the little picket fence here. It came from a cookie company. Okay, we'll put the we'll put the brains back in there for someone. Loaning money causes amnesia. <laughs> hmm, hmm, hmm. 
Is that an old shoot? Some, oh, it's a, it's just a canvas um, of the art. That's interesting. Six ninety nine for that. Probably brings back memories for somebody. I was never one of my favorite games though. Little hot dog cups. I like these tin cattails. Let's see if I can get them out of here without tearing up the whole shelf. I'm not sure I can. I'm not sure I can. They're kind of buried under here. There we go. Oh, come on. Just one. Let me see just one. There we go. I'm trying to figure out how old they are. They are kind of cool. $3.99 each. Hmm. Nah, I'm gonna leave them. Gonna leave them. I do like them though. Come back over here, see what I missed. Somebody else was shopping over here. Well, didn't miss much of anything over here. What is that? Little apple hanger hook things. Hmm. Oh, they're candle holders. That's what they are. Shovel. Head. I thought for a minute it was a duck, okay? I was thinking it was a duck. It's not. You could turn it into a duck. You could make something duck-like out of it for sure, but that is not its original purpose. Pumpkin. Oh, these are cute. Oh, I really like these. $4.99. I really, really like these. I mean, are you special enough to put away for next year? I don't know if you guys can even see. They got little, little jack-o'-lantern faces on it, and they're that little chicken wire. They're super cute. Mmm. Mmm. No. I'm gonna I'm gonna show some discipline. I'm going to leave them. I'm going to leave them. I'm pumpkined out. I have pumpkins everywhere. If you've been watching, I've been buying lots of pumpkins and they are all over my house currently. All right. I'm looking for Disney. I'm looking for vintage. I'm looking for Tupperware. I'm looking for things that have some resale value in the plastic section here. I have found some pretty good things in the past, but I'm not finding anything tonight, I'm afraid. Not tonight. All right, we are now in the glassware. Those are interesting. Look at that basket weave. Those are cute. Very cute. This looks like one of the glasses that goes with uh, my set here. Look, look, I hope there isn't one missing. I better peek and make sure they're all there. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get it just in case because the package is pretty tightly packed. So just to be on the safe side, it's only 99 cents, which means it's only 40 cents. Look how interesting these are with their little purple stems. Just kind of cute. Nope, nothing else exciting under here. Now yeah, we got some Libby little zigzag stems. I always do like finding those, but I'm not going to pick those up tonight. Just don't need any more right now. Let's see what we got over here in the mugs. This one kind of called to me. It's pretty chipped up. Panda bears are super adorable. More head. Oh, hello, Grumpy. Hello, Mr. Grumpiness. For 99 cents? Yes, yes, we will grab you. Let's see if Grumpy has any friends in here. 
cute little bird. I can tell though, look at the lip, you know, it's just not very well, not very well made. So we know it's not anything super high end. These are interesting little, I don't know what you would use this for. Like it's like a tall shot glass. Oh, it's signed on the bottom. Something rose. Oh, gotta get the light better. Tequila rose. Tequila rose. Kind of nice. As are the little heart etched glasses. Kentucky Derby glass. I don't generally pick up too many of those unless they are of the year that Secretariat was the winner because that still holds value. And the super old ones still hold value, but yeah, all of the newer ones are pretty, pretty run of the mill. Let's see what we got here. Looks like it was a uh, a Star Wars guy, but all the paint is peeled off. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that cute little puppy card. That's cute with the dragonflies on it. I know I have a lot of dragonfly friends. $2.99 says it's hand painted. That's kind of a nice, nice little guy for $2.99 minus 40%. I will pick that up. Interesting little palm tree. What are you for? Car salt and pepper shaker base. Ah, I would have had salt and pepper shakers, which might be around here somewhere. You never know. I'll keep that in mind in case I find them. Then we would know that they had a little base with them. But I don't see anything. What are you? Noritake. Little teacup and saucer. It's kind of a nice pattern. It's three dollars. I do kind of like that. I think I'll pick that up to sell on a live sale. Let's see what this creamer is. Ooh, made in England, but it's really, really uh, discolored. And I don't think that's fixable, unfortunately. Nice sunflower mug. What are you? Oh, you were a hand holding something broken, broken hand. Well, nothing else. Oh, oh, I looked at some of these before. Um, they're tortilla taco shell pans. Huh, create perfectly baked taco shells in under 10 minutes. They're non-stick, so Noah would have to use these over in his little house because of the birds, but it's for um, flour tortillas, though. Yeah, I don't know if we'd really use that. Just don't know if we would. Have some interesting things here tonight. Almost looks like they might have gotten like some store return merchandise type stuff. Oh, let's see. Plates and bowls and dishes. And a Scentsy Bird. Actually, I think I have this one also missing the top. And mine doesn't have a chip. I don't think I'm going to buy any more that are missing the tops because I just never find the tops. And yes, I've checked through Scentsy. I've checked through dealers. I just never have any luck finding the tops. These are really, really cute mid-century stoneware. They are hearth, hearthside buffet ware. There's five, five little plates there. These are really cute. No, no, Danny, no. You don't want plates to deal with right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass. But they are super cute.
I know it's funny. I know how that feels too. I watch other people's videos and like they pass something. I'm like, no, 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 don't pass that. You got to get it. So I know how it feels. I know how it feels. What are you? Little, little ceramic starfish. O-L-A-F, Sattler. It's $4 for the pair. Why am I so intrigued? I must have. I must have. Oh my goodness. Pure spa. Spa seat. Sometimes I see things and I go, oh, I want to go find a new one of those. My, uh, my spa has those hard concrete seats and that wouldn't be such a bad thing to have something soft and cushiony uh oh uh oh baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark all right let's see what's in the mishy mashy section tonight a lot of mishy mashy i will tell you that Lots of mishy mashy cupcake collars and picks with little foxes. Oh, and what are these ones? Oh, little birds. Oh, okay. No, Danny. No, no. Don't need. Don't need. But we might need a pool cue, but it's not in there. So we don't need. Okay. Looking through the small electronics just peeking what might be over here cute little homemade lamp it looks like little night light ghost ghosties what is that udo unidentified disco object it's 12.99 i want a disco ball i want a disco ball i do i genuinely want a disco ball it's on my wish list. I know. I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. But I want one. They're just super duper expensive. So someday I'm going to find one out in the wild. That's an interesting lamp. But I'm going to resist. Going to resist. I'm just looking. I'm just looking at lamps tonight. I don't see anything that I can't walk away from. Oh wow. The art is quite quite a stuffed mess tonight. I'm just not even motivated to look real hard because it's just too crammed in here and I just moved a whole bunch of art out of storage over to the building. So I have to deal with that. So I'm, I'm not even going to be tempted. Although that is pretty stinking cute. Monty Dolick refrigerators. Refrigerators. <laughs> All right, that's fun. But nope. I'll resist. All right, I'm looking through like the placemats and these are kind of tugging at me. There's four of them for $2.99. I think, I think I'm gonna grab those. And I just found the matching uh, table scarf for $2.99. All right, taking a peek through the pillows. I don't see anything too exciting tonight. Nothing even calling me. Yeah, we're gonna take a little peek through some toys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cute. Oh, a little uh, Mrs. Potato Head. A little bit on the grungy side though. What makes you? Pillow Fort. I don't know Pillow Fort. And a bunny peek on this side nothing too exciting they've kind of like split up their toys now they used to go all the way across and now it doesn't oh you're a wind up just for you carters little elephant how much are you you're super cute all right he doesn't have a tag i'm gonna take him up and see how much he is because he's super cute this guy is a Moki, wait, hold still. Moki Puni Dinosaur, second. 
He's a dollar ninety-nine minus forty percent. I'm gonna take a chance on him. All right, we are over in the purses to see if there's any goodies. I do have a whatnot purse sale coming up very soon. I can't remember if it's this coming Monday or the one after that. It's scheduled. It's over there. I've got a link down in the description if you want to come follow me over on the whatnot. I'm really, I'm, I'm enjoying myself over there. I'm just, I'm having fun with a new platform of, of reselling. And if anybody's interested in becoming a whatnot reseller, well, let me know. I've got a link there that gives you a little bit of a fast pass in getting approved, but talk to me first because I can give you some hints on getting that fast approval. I've learned a thing or two. If you just want to go over there and look at things to buy, be sure you use my link down below. That'll get you $15 to go spend and have some fun. I'm looking for a name on this really nice quality purse. Like the leather is really super, really super nice leather. It's very soft, very supple. It's well constructed, but there's no name. And that always just deters me a little bit. So I'm going to leave it for that reason, but I wish, I wish I had a name. I'd pick that one up. I would indeed. We'll see. Matt and Nat. Yeah, I'm not seeing any other purses that are calling to me so much. Oh, it's kind of interesting. What's the name on that one? Moda Lux. Moda Lux. Don't know it. Not that I'm like a purse expert or anything, but I figure if I know it, and I know it is a good brand, then it's probably a good pickup. If I don't know it, I kind of tend to stay away. All right, that's it on the purses. I did pick up a pair of Ugg tennis shoes that were interesting. I'm trying to figure out what size they are because I would actually, I would actually wear these if they fit me, but I don't think they're my size. I don't know what size they are. Oh, let's just throw them on the ground, Danny. I don't Oh wait, here's a size, here's a size. They are size seven and a half. Eh, it'd be a squeeze, I wear like an eight. But they're just interesting enough to pick up for $8 minus 40%. I also got this um, little putting green, this indoor putting green for uh, Jordan's boyfriend for Christmas. And then I picked up this sweater for me. It's uh. So it is, is the brand, but I don't, I don't care about the brand on it. I just think it's really cute with a little embroidered, a little dash of color. So I'm going to grab that. And last but not least, we are going to take a little jaunt through the Halloween section just to see what's been added because there could be some good Thanksgiving stuff in here too, which is the next decorating adventure. Oh, that's really cute. Again, I don't need any more pumpkins. I don't need any more. Oh, I'm not seeing. <laughs> I know. I'm just. I'm just drawn to them. I can't. I can't help myself. Oh, let's see. Got some ceramics over here. Oh, look at that cute little drink dispenser. Gush. Oh, $25. $25. Oh, you look like a very angry turkey. I wonder what you play when you play. <laughs> you look just, you just look very, very upset about something, mister. All right. Just a little too grumpy for my taste. A little too grumpy. That's cute. Ah, don't need, don't need don't need. All right, I think I'm going to go check out and call it a night. Stay tuned for the recap. I'm going to tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth on eBay. And uh, oh yeah, I picked that up for myself too. A couple little things for myself since I'm still looking for clothes that got packed away. All right, stay tuned after the recap. I'll be back.
I spent a whopping $65 and that included that pair of shoes, which I may or may not resell. I don't know. Uh, the, the sweater and the shirt for myself, a Christmas present for my daughter's boyfriend. And, uh, yeah, so that was not a bad shopping trip. I, I'm feeling pretty good about my discipline in resisting some of the things I otherwise may have picked up. All right, lots going on. I uh, need to get home. I actually need to edit this video uh, so that I can be at the store all day tomorrow. We are starting to put all of our displays and things into place. We've got our lights put in. We've got a uh, carpet put down in our little vendor rooms and it's really coming together and it's very exciting. This is really happening. All right. Stay tuned for more progress and uh, more shopping trips. And with that, you go be profitable and make it fun.